This is the behind the scenes, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is, today will be a sneaker collection haul. This video has been long awaited, okay? Everyone, I mean every single one I have on Instagram, they're always like, oh my God, can you please make a video of your collection? So on and so forth, so rolling on my sleeve for this one because it's gonna be a very long one if you guys can only see the mess in this room it's not cute okay so i guess we can start with jordan ones i just saw a tiktok and a girl was like tiktok has truly really ruined jordan ones and you know what that ain't nothing but a fact it was my favorite shoe ever since like i started my little shoe journey it's gotten to the point where i don't even want to wear them i mean i do i love all my ones because they're not like the basic ones well not the basic ones but like these new released ones where like everyone is wearing truly totally love my ones but it's just gotten to the point where everyone has them and I just don't want to wear them nowadays because it's just like wow like everyone has this shoe beforehand like i'd have these shoes everyone used to be like oh my god those shoes sneakers are so nice where did you get them you know that, that's what i lived for like the hypeness about it and now it's just everyone has them you turn to the right it's a moko one you turn to the left it's an obsidian shoe and i'm just over here are my first pair of ones mm -hmm. breads these were actually my first pair. So if you can tell the difference between the two, these are a little bit more yellow, and then these are the newer pair. Okay, so the difference between these two, the older pair were released in 2013, and are just the actual normal Jordan bread, and then these babies right here were actually released in 2016, so these are the band versions. I truly like the leather of both of them because they are sturdy. I wear my sneakers and I'm not gonna be the type to be walking dumb, okay? I, I walk normal. I'm not about to walk like a, I got a, something on my ass, you know, if, I'm, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so these are my first pair of ones. Well, not these, but ones of the 2013 release and I just love them. This sneaker will never do you wrong, okay? And for the next baby in our collection. <laughs> okay, so a little background story. I'm gonna have a story to all of this. This is incredible. It's literally gonna be an hour long video. Anyways, so I saw these first in Tumblr, okay? Tumblr used to be my thing. I always used to be stuck on Tumblr. And I first saw these and I fell in love. I'm like, I need these sneakers now. And beforehand, like let's say 2012, 2011, there were no platforms of like reselling shoes like StockX, Dating Goods, so on and so forth. So you really couldn't buy them. And hello, I was mad young. You think my parents were gonna pay all that money for this sneaker? <laughs> yeah, you're funny. No, my parents don't roll that way. But yeah, so these are my second pair of ones. I think they are. Okay, and then just to finish the little trio collection, I have these shadow ones. These are another baby. They're just holy grails, these three. The bread, shadow, and royal sneakers. They are the best in the way that you can rock them with anything, all black, jean, denim, anything, and everything will still look perfect with them. Also, these two are the most comfiest shoes ever. They're leather material. Like, as you guys can tell, yes, they crease like a whole bunch, and I truly haven't even worn these how much I've been wanting to wear them just because they're creasing so much. I'm just like, I don't want to damage the shoe. Same thing with this one, but their leather is impeccable. Like, these are the most comfiest ones I own and they're just worth every fucking penny of them they're also the most recent release so whatever year you guys see them in they're the most recent cute okay next up we can go with the little unc collection i have here i just love the baby blue I'm, i think that's my favorite color blue i always used to be pink you know or red but not anymore anyways these are my unc ones i love this shoe with all my heart this baby blue is unmatched okay this is like the perfect baby blue that will go with anything bro every summer you will see me with these on like if i'm going somewhere these are coming with me i don't care where i'm going but they're coming with me and yeah my favorite shoe i love them okay next up these are the chill blues unc chill blues well i consider them unc i truly don't know if that's anymore now these are my other favorite pair of shoes bro at this point they are my favorite pair of shoes because like i mentioned if i buy a sneakers because i actually like it not just because it's trending these sneakers have my heart bro you can wear them in the snow in the rain just because of this material like they're so fire and funny story on these is that my boyfriend they actually dropped in february around the same week of valentine's and it was for the nba something with the nba I forgot i don't want to sound stupid in this video i'm just letting y'all know got this shoe and 
and my boyfriend won them on the sneakers app okay we we're like oh shit and i have tried for them in a local footlocker around me like in a raffle entry i didn't hear back from them so i'm like okay i basically didn't get the shoe but no it turned out like about two three hours later i ended up getting the shoe they called me they were like oh this customer did not pick it up do you want to get them I'm like hell yes this was my shoe okay i love this shoe i'm just gonna sell the other pair obviously at first i was gonna sell them for like 380 and no one was trying to give it up for them and now they're going for mad money they're going for like 600 which hello i didn't expect this but yeah i love these shoes okay and then this is my little last pair when it comes to the unc colorways these are my obsidians and these obsidians you know i have mixed feelings so i truly have not worn them that much just because of the fact that the navy blue you know the navy blue throws me off and then this blue too like it looks really cute on camera but it's a lot darker i felt like i needed these just because i had the other two so i'm just like okay let me just keep on going with this little collection but if i'm telling you right now if i can get another pair of sneakers it'll just be the normal unc colorway i need another pair just because i don't take them things off got really nothing much to say about it i got them sadly resale just because i felt like i needed them Next up, we have a Lely May ones. These ones, well, these were her second pair of ones that she has created with the Nike team. And these, I cannot even explain how nice they are. The colorway, the material, everything is nice. And my, I actually didn't like this fur going on, but then I'm like, wait, you could really dress up the shoe with just this little fur. They also come with a different pair of laces, which I appreciate how much she went in with the laces. They're actually wax material and they're pure fire i can show you also what they look like off it just buttons and you could just take it off if you don't truly like the fur but yeah shoes are fire so these are my next pair of ones these ones are are you kidding me like what can we say these are called the satin shattered blackboard and these are actually a women's sneaker so props to me i got these actually let me see I got these actually in a size US 7. It was sort of weird to me just because the six and a half I can fit, but then the seven I would fit in some sneakers and some sneakers no. So thank God. At first they fit me a little bit big, but I think my foot, it grew a little, which is a problem. Cause you see how many sneakers I have? I do not need that. Anyways, these are my babies, okay? These are amazing. I just love orange, okay? Orange and red on any shoe, fire, pure fire. Another pair of ones. When are we ever going to be done? These are the Shattered Backboard 3.0. These are amazing. I truly love the material on them. This is like the other UNC patent leather. They're truly not called patent leather, but I just call them because I know that's material. But they are the same type of material. It's just that these are like the cracked leather. So, you know, it makes it even better if you end up creasing them. Forget about it. No one can tell. And this is just another basic shoe that everyone else has. I truly have only worn these, you can say maybe twice. One time last year for Halloween, because I just got them. I'm like, okay, boom. And I actually got these on the sneakers app too, by the way. These are just another pair of shoes that it's just like, I see everyone with them. And I'm just, I don't feel motivated to wear them. Comments below please tell me i'm dead ass buggy because i know and then i also have two pair of ones that i'm just planning on selling them because again everyone just has them and i'm over it at that point these i won the sneakers app right Remember. yeah i won these actually on the sneakers app i was very proud of myself you know i have a lot of w's on the sneakers app at times it's just like the most depressing thing when you get an l but you know god will always bless you with a w <laughs> with a win but anyways yes i got these and i actually almost wore them this summer or well, last summer but i'm again like i just saw everyone with them on and i truly i don't know i'm still holding on to them because i don't have a purple shoe in my collection so if anything, if I change my mind, obviously I'll wear them. I do not care. I'm the type of person where I get something, I will wear it the next day. I'll be too hyped for anything. But yeah, I just love also the laces. The fact that they tie dye, I love that. There's also this other shoe. Does it even need introduction at this point? I also don't have a brown sneaker in my collection. Oh, I didn't wear them anywhere. Okay, so guys, I got these for my sister. I got one pair for her and one pair for me. And... You know, I just went into a kids for locker chilling, okay? And I was just like, because also, you need to understand, it's rally. There's not as much sneakerheads over here. So, you will low-key be, you know, in the loop if you 
but try. I went into a kid's foot locker and I was just like, you know, I was gonna ask a question, bro, and I literally look to my freaking right and I see the sneaker in display. Okay, this shoe has been out already for two weeks. I was I wasn't even gonna ask. I wasn't gonna make a fool out of myself because if I don't see it, I'm not even gonna ask. Like, what's the point? Bro, I saw that shoe on display. Guess what? They got it that same morning. That same morning, I ended up walking to that store, okay? I was like, nah, yeah, I'm getting two right now. One my credit card, one my debit card. Don't play. And so, yeah, I think I'm just gonna hold on to these. And I truly think I'm gonna sell them because the value on them is going up by the minute. So, you know, TikTok is doing good thing in the marketplace where they're just going up more and more and more. But when it comes to everyone wearing the same thing, it's sort of sad. So, they're cute. I like the brown. Okay, finally moving on from my Jordan 1 collection. Up next, I have my Amy Leon Dor New Balance. Sorry if I'm butchering that name. I most likely am. Amy is like more of a New York spot. And just the creativity on these. They come out with a New Balance every single year. But these were the ones that truly... Whoa. Why is this camera disrespecting me like that? They're the only colorway that have actually caught my attention. I remember I wore these my first time on my way to Paris and they were so comfortable. I wore them almost every single day. So any pair of New Balance, to be honest, they're worth the money. Um, and yeah, I got these on a resale price. I paid like $3.30 for them. And I think they, I'm not sure how much they retail for, but they don't retail as much. I think it was about to be like two something if I bought them on the website. And that's another thing. All these bots be eating up that website. So it's over. And also, if you actually buy from the Amy store before, so you can buy actually anything. Anything you would want to purchase, obviously. They will give you an early access on their new balance. I have seen an early access for these, but I didn't get it. And I have seen the early access for the upcoming sneaks. Next, next, next. The pair that everyone has. <laughs> so, guys, I ended up getting these. Whoa, my boyfriend gifted me these in Christmas a long time ago. Like, literally when I moved to North Carolina. And it was five years ago. Yeah. So, I have had these for five years. I wore them a lot in high school. I was wearing them, a lot of people didn't know about it, well at least here in North Carolina, so I felt like I was cool. They also have always fit me big, so I feel like if you're gonna buy these, get a size smaller. Cause look, these are a woman's seven, okay? And this is a men's five, and I am considered a, a US men's size, a six, and a woman's size, eight. So if I were you, actually go a size down on these. They do run really big. Now we have more collaborative sneakers. My next up shoe that I will be showing you guys will be my Cactus Jack sneaker. This Cactus Jack 6 is so, is a fire ass shoe. Like the army green, I'm here for it. The little pocket. Like, are you kidding me? Look at that little facial cute. I'm dumb, I know. This is another shoe I love. I have also barely worn it because sadly it has fit me too big. My boyfriend got me these. Guys, that's like most of my boyfriend got me these. My boyfriend got me these. My boy, that's most of it. Got me these because he found a seller and he's just like, bro, I'm trying to get a hold of those. These are a kids US 6. They do fit me still big. I have to wear thick socks with them. But like I said, my foot for some reason has been growing. I hope it doesn't continue because I will literally cry. None of my shoes will fit. Nowadays, I can wear them a little bit more, but it would get to the point where you see how they're creased. It's just because of the fact that my foot, like the actual shoe would fold on me when I would try to walk. And like I said, I do not walk crazy. So I just rather not wear them, sadly. That's why I barely got news out of them. But don't worry, babies. I'll wear you soon. Next shoe. Okay, so these sussies have been so hyped. Oh my god. I truly originally wanted the black colorway, but I got lucky with these. I can't complain. My sister was like, you you better be grateful you got these. I'm just like, I really don't see the hype in them. I mean, I truly like the material, and they just have a lot of cute details on them. Like, it was so funny because one day I actually wore them to work, and a guy came up to me and was like, your dad is wearing them to work. And I'm like, uh, yes, the f they're so comfy. Like, if you actually want a comfy shoe, I recommend these. They're like 10 out of 10. They are going for a ridiculous amount of money. I gladly got them retail price. So these are a men's size six. And I'm looking them up on StockX right now, bro. The lowest ask is $956. And the last sale was $888. 
I'm not as struggling going up and down because let me tell you, all these sneakers are on the floor, okay? Just for you guys, I'll be doing this. This is the next shoe I'll be showing you guys. These are my Union LA 4s. I love this freaking shoe. At first, I truly didn't like them. I like the guava color. And then these sort of grew on me, and but I have come to love them. The shoelaces are fire. I actually won these on the sneakers app for my boyfriend because at the time, I truly didn't want them. I wanted him to have them. He didn't shut up about them, okay? So then I actually won them for him, and it came to the point where sneakers was trying out a new... They tried out like a new shipping method, and it wasn't with UPS. It was with a company called Laser Ship. Bro, they never even set the shoe out and they only said label created for a whole week. I never got so mad with them. They were like, you can't do nothing about it. Obviously, like the shoe is not on stock. I'm like, obviously it's not going to be on stock. He ended up getting me them for Christmas and I ended up getting for him also the sneaker for Christmas. Because I'm just like, you can't have, like I can't have them and you can't. Like you need them because you were the one that wouldn't shut up about them. They're that big know it and another pair of fours i have these are not just the black hats baby these are olivia kim's collab okay the, this collab is so fire it's like i don't know what type of hair it is but they have they're like made out of this hair we didn't get these on the release drop but we actually got them under retail thank god with StockX. so the black hats everyone had them we actually got them right after they released and I've been looking at this shoe so much, so I'm just like, whatever. I'd rather get them now before they actually shoot up. And now I see they have shoot up. Their lowest ask and their lowest and their last sale was $400. And we got these under retail. We, I think we got these for $150. And their retail price is $180, which is insane to me. Okay, guys, here we have another collab shoe. I just love collab shoes. I don't think truly Nike, like they be doing all right, but their collabs breaking next or the collaborator be breaking next. Anyways this shoe bro i did not shut up about it for like two years okay ever since they dropped i'm like bro i need them i don't have as much colorful sneakers so i need them my boyfriend ended up getting them for me bro it's literally just my boyfriend my boyfriend my boyfriend he should just be with me in this video at this point the unc one is my favorite shoe but i just didn't like i just got that shoe in a matter of two weeks when this shoe it took me forever I, these are my babies okay i don't i take care of them so much if i see a little scratch on them i go crazy just the details on them they're so fire i sound like a bird but <laughs> I just get so excited over shoes. I, don't, I think you guys don't understand. It's a me problem. I understand. My parents know my problem. Again, with another off-white shoe. These are so cute. I love these. These are actually the sneaker of the year for 2020. So let's get it. Like, these are just that are so fire. This shoe, I actually won them on the sneakers at, bro. My bank account tried doing me dirty. It be feening with my purchases. So at times they don't let the transaction go through. And I don't like that. So they did it. They have already done it to me actually with the Cactus Jack shoe. The sixes, they actually did that to me. And I turns out I didn't get them obviously because of that. But this time around when I tried for this shoe, because the transaction was obviously like mad weird out of place. They were like, want to accept this transaction, yes or no. Like they shoomed it in me a message right away. I'm like, oh, yes. Like I didn't even reply, bro. I was at work. I was literally shaking. I truly thought I didn't get it because obviously they're going to ask you that after they have sort of canceled the transaction. And like you don't play, they cancel it. That's it. It's over for you. Like your dreams are over. So on and so forth. Yes, I got this shoe retail and... My boyfriend was feeling for me to sell it, but no. This shoe was up and down with me this summer also. Like, no. This shoe is just so fire. It's so unique. People will be cutting the holes and shit. And I'm just like, how? Also, like, these remind me of the off-white sales. The women's shoe. The fours. I wanted them so bad. Like, I was literally about to drop that money. Like, and I just came to a realization where every girl on IG worn them. And they literally burnt them out so much that, like, they're not just... They're, they're not even worth that price. So, it's not worth it. I just love this shoe. So far. Okay, guys. And then, this is my final off-white sneaker. I love this shoe. This is my first shoe I ever paid resale price for on StockX. And... I'm actually happy about it because I don't stop wearing these shoes. These shoes come with me every single trip. If I know I'm going to need a pair of comfy shoes, these are them. These are the Prestos, the second round that they created with them. 
and obviously i like the first one but huh, who got money for that this is a really nice shoe i just sort of messed up because i did buy a size five i this was almost my first time ever buying a shoe where i couldn't try them on so i went ahead and i was asking like other foot lockers like hey do you guys have pretzels in this size so i can see what size i'd be for some reason there was no pretzels that year they only had like the the harder material ones but at least since they do stretch out a lot and my feet are very wide let me tell you they do stretch out a whole bunch so they actually don't fit me as tight as they probably should be fitting me because i actually have another shoe here that's a five and it doesn't fit me we'll get to that later on i truly love this sneaker this sneaker is different if you guys have the opportunity of getting a, a presto even in general it doesn't have to be a collab one get it because it's worth it sister i told you i wanted to wear one of her sweaters and homegirl comes in and say like, i'm wearing your sweater like if i would have known that would have worn your that's what happens when you live with a sister next up we have our gorgeous babe stuffs guys i've been fiending for a pair of babe stuffs i've been wanting a pair of babe stuffs for so long i originally wanted the all white colorway i don't know like in new york it was just such a thing two years ago and that stuck with my head i've been the type where i never buy an air force one i will never buy an air force one because i'm just like it's truly a waste of money you wear them twice and that's like you need to throw them out like i don't want I, I will buy anything that looks like an air force one but it's not this is a perfect example so these i got my boyfriend got them actually straight from japan and they were actually a little bit cheaper than their retail price i actually wanted to sell them at first because they do fit me tight that's why I, that's the only reason why i don't wear them so much these are a u.s women's five and i swore it, that was my shoe obviously because it converts into a european size and i'm a european 38 so i'm just like whatever that's like the best reference i have so i ended up getting these and they fit me fine but i feel my front toe like my big toe i feel it always in the front of the freaking shoe so that's my only thing about this shoe but other than that these are straight fire i need now i just need when it comes to babe stuff all the different colorways and also actually i went to the babe store in new york the soho location and i wanted their pink camo ones i'll enter a picture right here i wanted their pink camo ones but i tried on a size six i'm like i want to just buy them but then i tried the size six and i'm just like i look like a clown in them these are the type of shoes i'm not sure if you can tell but they low-key go up and it looks like converse in the sense of they go up if they fit you too big so the six fit me fine i still had room in the front which i'm like okay i low-key prefer this than the five instead of like like i can still walk around with these but i can't walk that much like don't count on me if i have these on it's over i try on the size six i'm like nah that has to be like a doof ball so i ended up i didn't end up getting them just because like I didn't want to have another pair of size fives and me not barely wear them and then if i get a size six i'm gonna be looking at my feet all the time thinking my feet look mad big so that was a dub next up i have my summer babies i got this shoe and i was so hype you don't understand i also won them on the sneaker set damn i got like a couple of w's in the sneaker app. i got these babies bro they're all so messed up already like it's so bad them non-stop two summers like back to back i was not playing so i got this shoe and i originally wanted the first drop from sakai i remember i was in my interview of my job right now and they haven't called my name yet so bro i was on that sneakers app what like nothing before i originally wanted the red blue colorway I grew out of them like i saw them in person bro the summer that those shoes first came out everyone and their mother had them on in the summer but then my boyfriend got them he got the green and orange and yellow version i'll put a picture right here and way more fire than the, the red and blue colorway i'm just like bro i need these shits. and i've been feeding them for a long time but it's just gotten to the point where they keep going up bro my size is a setup like if i ever want a sneaker i have to buy it after the release date if i know it's not gonna go up because eventually it is gonna go up i'm a size six in women's like i said and that size if you are that size is like the most common size if you are that size i feel for you girl because we'll be all struggling together next up my cutie cement three bro this shoe right here i had to like you take a picture with it this shoe right here is so fire like can i get any better than this this is also from the last release 
um i got this shoe also retail bro this shoe is pure like i just i have nothing else to say about this shoe but just that they're pure fire this is also another type of shoe that run mad tiny like i'm just so mad like most favorite shoes either they run too big too small it's always a problem with me like my size it's literally a problem because my feet are more wide than long so yeah i also got these in a five and a half in kids five and a half kids in ones my perfect size i have a little bit of room not too tight not too big these bro i'm just so mad they fit me just like my babes does wear they fit me right on my toe i always feel them whenever i walk and it's an issue i've always wanted these for so long i remember like before my high school days and i finally got them and now i barely wear them that's my life when I was mentioning my fiasco with my base does and them being a size 5 and I mentioned how I have another type shoe that I first got them online, these were them. These are the elements, they're colorway coloring, thunder blue and total orange. I wore these like maybe 2-3 times, they're dead as a comfortable ass shoe. I just obviously don't recommend them in the rain but other than that, like if you know you're gonna walk around a lot, especially in the heat, this is definitely a summer shoe to walk. Okay, and then speaking about summer shoes, we have these babies right here, Cortez. These are so fire to me. I was about to buy another pair of them because i just didn't stop wearing them non-stop i took these to mexico on one of my mexico trips and they were my non-stop shoe like this is the only shoe i even brought with me because i'm just like that and i got a little cute you know navy blue outfit with it to match the bottom <laughs> very cute really comfortable they're actually very stylish and they're very affordable too i think they retail for 60 dollars and you can still find them anywhere so yeah little cute shoe moment okay and then for my final two shoes my newest additions because you know my babies so like i mentioned i truly never buy air force ones i will buy all the types of lookalikes but i just will not spend my money on air force ones i just truly think there's no reason for it and i just like collecting collector shoes like i truly think there's like more to them than just normal you know everyday shoes these are my other shoe i'm gonna talk to you guys about these are my john geigers the shoe designer he's also an apparel designer and these are so fire bro like get into it i wore these bro in the snow like three times when i just went on my new in my recent new york trip they didn't crease at all and this shoe I wore non-stop like every single occasion where I had to wear sneakers I would wear these I brought I'm telling you right now like probably five other shoes and I only really worn these the other ones I wore once and then for the rest of the two weeks like I just wore these um yeah I really like this shoe it's not a bad buy and then with my newest collection of John Guys, bro these are the ones that I actually saw that I was fiending for I was fiending for this shoe bro just because it reminds me of the Chanel tweed like look at that detail are you kidding and so yeah these are the other pairs of john geigers i have i truly just got them in the mail yesterday i just truly also got these because i noticed how good the white ones are and my boyfriend he was just like damn they're dead as fire like they go with anything what i also love about is their laces yes it doesn't really go but like the way he styles them or the way you can even style them it makes you want to like wear them they also come with another pair of laces if you truly don't like this pattern with this but i truly love them i'm gonna wear them to my next trip my sister and i we both actually got the same pair of sneakers so we're gonna wear them we're gonna match cute moment and then i'm gonna just close out this video with this shoe that i wear every single day guys <laughs> she's gonna be like you have all these shoes and this is the shoe you wear yes i wear these shoes bro they even smell bad of how much I wear them. I wear them every single day to work. These are, let me just tell you, these are New Balance 680s. I don't know what the fuck I gotta do with anything, but if you want a pair of shoes to work in, bro, you need these. But yeah, that is the last sneaker I had to show you guys. I'm so happy I finally made this video. I'm so excited to show you guys. Like, I have all these shoes, bro. You don't even pongo. I don't wear them anywhere. Like, it's truly sad, especially living here just because i have nowhere to go thank you guys for watching this video like comment share and subscribe bye fucking maldito reguero meeting ignore my slipper look at this boxes from the shoes i just received look at this and there's still a lot more boxes over there y'all want to pray for me please Please do so.